Hey, buddy. I know our little lady's cute and all, but could you stop leering at her? Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help but notice that stuffed doll she's got. You want a piece of Tipo, pal? Aha! I knew it! This one talks, too! You mean you've seen a talking doll like this before? Oh, yeah. They look just like that one. That might be Tipo's family! Where did you see it? A traveling merchant was selling them here a little while ago. He said he was heading west. That must be Sherilton. So there might be other Tipos besides Tipo? That is a possibility. I want to meet my family! Wow. These new toys are so impressive. Now I wish I'd bought one for my daughter. Please, I'm in a hurry. Hmm? What is it? That woman. Quite a looker, eh? What do you think? Uh, this again? Found you, cat. Now come with us or else. N never mind. Just cancel my reservation. <laughs> Alvin? I can't believe we fell for your pathetic lies. Please, I beg you, let me go. Please, you don't understand. Who are you working for? Tell us. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I think the lady's had enough. Mind your own business. You don't know what she's done. Hmm. Alvin, what's going on? Damn it. He's got friends. Let's get out of here. Cab, was it? That's an unusual name. Why did you help me? You don't know what they'll do to you. Well, how do I put this? He can't help it. Alvin's always had a weakness for pretty faces. <laughs> That's my Jude. Always kidding around. Now, how about you take her back to the inn and tend to her wounds? As you command, sir. She couldn't be one of them, could she? Oh, hey! Have you seen Kat today? She left before dawn. Hey, over here! What's going on? This was no accident. Who would do such a thing? Cat! Did you know her? I'm sorry, but she's already gone. What happened? Was it those two men from yesterday? No, it wasn't them. Do you know who did this? Hey, could you give us a moment here? It won't take long. She never came out and said so, but I suspect Kat was a member of the Rats. The Rats? That's what they call the female spy organization that works for the Octal clan. They're one of the shadier tribes in Ajul. The Rats use women to gather intelligence. As their name implies, they sneak in anywhere, like rodents. They're pretty well known in Ajul. I can't believe it. I don't think those thugs from yesterday had caught on to her real identity. They must have been from the group she was spying on. They wouldn't have gone this far. Then who? Other rats. With her cover blown, she became a liability. I had a hunch that she might have been a spy, but... <sighs> this might be my fault. No, this isn't your fault. Are you guys done? Yeah, thanks for that. You okay? Yeah, these things happen. You just have to put it out of your mind. You can't save everyone, kid.
those wanted posters. Is that Jude and Mila? Wow, you both look so evil. That's supposed to be Jude and I? Well, this is lucky. If that's what they're looking for, there's no way they'll ever catch us. These are awful. Oh, I'm sure this can't be fun at your age. Kids can be so self-conscious. No, I don't care about me, but Mila looks terrible. He's right. This is quite unfortunate. The whole reason I assumed this form is because its appearance is effective against men. Half the human population. But if I'm as ugly as I appear in that poster, I need to fundamentally reevaluate my strategy. Wow, that is diabolical. I had no idea. Jude, be honest with me. Am I attractive from a male perspective? Uh, well, you're beautiful, in my opinion. And sexy. Ellie says she wants to look just like you. Tipo! You have nothing to worry about, Mila. So, what would you say are her finest features? Oh, maybe how good she smells, or those amazing curves. Yes, I see. Thank you for your invaluable opinion. My, my. Our little Jude is becoming a man. I was just speaking objectively. If you leave an egg in an empty box and said egg gets crushed, the cause must lie within the egg itself. How's egg principle? It sounds obvious, but at the same time, not so much. 500 years ago, Professor Howe used that principle to deduce how spirit channeling works. Although, people still channeled beforehand, right? They just didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Since spirits have no apparent physical form, people weren't aware they existed at all. But Professor Howe surmised that something had to be converting the mana from our mana lobes into arts. And that turned out to be spirits. Yep. His hypothesis was proven with the discovery of spirits that had taken physical forms. And because he figured out what was inside the egg, the age of spirit arts was born. Exactly. Although there's still a lot we don't understand about spirits. Like Maxwell being a busty 20-year-old. Bet even Professor Howe didn't see that coming. Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. A military checkpoint. I knew things were too easy. What'll we do? Well, hey! What's over yonder? That's the deep wood. If we can hike our way through there, we'll come out right near Sherilton. Then our path is clear. It won't be easy going. What about Elise? You knew she'd face risks on this journey. <clears throat> I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys! You're pals, remember? Elise. The girl has agreed, so this matter is no longer open to debate. <laughs> that thing's got reach. It can hit all of us with ease. This could pose a problem. Elise, keep your distance. We can't look after you and fight at the same time. Stay back. Jude! Damn it. I... I can help. You healed us? 
<laughs> Glad you brought us along now, huh? Our wounds are healed. Did a leaf do this? Stay back, it's dangerous. But wait, hold on! I can help! Hey. Yes. Right. Right. A grand victory! That was amazing, Elise. That was exhausting. Imagine. A little girl wielding arts like that. Elise, you saved us. <coughs> it's okay, Elise. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. That's not it. You two need to make up. Pals need to stick together. I promise I won't get in your way again. Honest. You heard the little lady. Now make nice with Jude here, for Elise's sake. Make nice? It's not like I'm angry or anything. That's not how it looks to me! You were getting along better before! I'll do my best, okay? Why do I suddenly feel like the villain here? <laughs> Fine, all is forgiven. And hey, don't you have something to say to Elise? Sorry for making you worry. And thank you. This is some serious friendship stuff right here! Level 99 on the friendship meter! Elise's arts could really help us in a pinch, don't you think so? Agreed. Thank you, Elise. I'm counting on you. Sally forth, pals! What luck. Never expected a channeler like her to be along for the ride. Look out, guys. There are little bugs everywhere. I wonder if Mila gets bitten a lot in that outfit. You didn't know? She swats the bugs away with her hair. Wow, like the tail of a cow! Don't compare my crowning glory to the tail of a cow. Crowning glory? I didn't expect such vanity from the Lord of Spirits. Sylph styled my hair for me. He said, you're in human form, so you need to take care of your appearance. You have the great spirit of wind style your hair? That's incredible! Yes, I'm quite fond of it. If I swing it around quickly, I can distract a foe between attacks. So you do swish it like a cow. Everyone okay? Where... <coughs> Where is everybody? The smoke. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> ah. uh, my eyes. This ain't smoke. <coughs> Some kind of spore, more likely. I bet these are smoke shroom spores. Once the spores get in your eyes or nose... <coughs> you can't stop crying. Doesn't bother me. What a bunch of crybabies. <laughs> we meet again. They don't look ready to turn tail and run this time. Get along, little doggies! I sure wasn't expecting him. What are you doing here? Good dogs. Thank you for telling me of these intruders. I thought Ivor was the only one who could talk with animals. You're Jow, right? Hmm? I don't remember introducing myself. We heard your name from the people of Hamel. What do you want? Is that not obvious? Come, child. We're returning to the village. You had me worried sick. I never thought you would leave the village while I was away. No, no, no! Don't let him take us, Jude! Mm. 
Do you have any idea how the villagers treated Elise when you left her alone? I am truly sorry about that. What exactly is Elise to you? Let's just say, I know where she used to live. Where she grew up. So will you take her back to her home? Or are you planning to lock her up in Hamil again? That is my business, and mine alone. You will hand the girl over. Then you leave me no choice. The bigger they are, right? You need to come... Sew your mouth up. I won't let anyone down. Excellent. Let me guess. You work out? Why must you remain with these people? They will bring you nothing but trouble, I'm sure of it. I want to stay with them because they made me their friend. And friends don't leave friends alone! Elise. Mila. Alvin. If it were up to me, I would not bring her back. I am not doing this by choice. Just put that away. What? Cover your mouth up! You don't want to be alone, huh? Then perhaps, all of those people are actually good for you after all. Whoa, hey! The 
those whatchamacallit shrooms or something else. It got all smoky. What was that? Those are smoke shroom spores. Clever monsters will wait until their prey gets near one. Then they'll hit the smoke shroom with a rock and take down the prey while its eyes and nose are clouded with spores. And for its part, the smoke shroom gets to spread its spores over a wider area. When life forms help each other like that, it's called symbiosis. Oh, okay. You're so smart, like one of those monsters you talked about. So does that mean people and spirits have symbiosis too? That's right. Humans give mana to the spirits, and the spirits use arts to help people. It's a perfect example of symbiosis. Well done, Elise. Thank you. That's incredible! Ellie's the smartest of all! Lilium orbs are so pretty! Where did you get yours? I'm not sure. One day, I just noticed it was inside Tipo. I found it on the ground! It was so pretty, I couldn't help myself! You ate it? Let's be glad Tipo did. She wouldn't stand a chance out here without it. For a tool of battle, it really is quite beautiful. The humans who designed it did quite a fine job. A marvel born of the same human ingenuity that has spawned so many horrors. Well said. Perhaps it's that very duality that defines humans. You see how that Jiao guy made monsters do his dirty work? Pretty neat trick. Ivor has some ability to control monsters, but it's nowhere near that level. I've heard there's a clan in Anjul that knows the secret art of monster control. I wonder how it works. Monsters are a pain. They should just learn to talk like I can. Come now, isn't it easier this way? Would you really want to kill a talking monster? I guess not. I would crush them with witty repartee. That's true. If we could negotiate with monsters, we wouldn't need to fight them all. But even if they could talk, they'd all be speaking monsterese. So hire an interpreter who's fluent in this language. <laughs> and then it turns out that's exactly what the secret art is. Whoa! Whoa. <sighs> Ain't that by the skin of our teeth? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my fault that the big man attacked you. Don't be mad at Ellie. He was the one who picked the fight. There's nothing for you to apologize for. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. You're a real pal, Alvin. It ain't every day a treasure like you falls into my lap. Huh? Because you're such a gifted channeler, I mean. You know, so you'll be a big help to me, too. Elise is incredible at spirit channeling. Her mana lobe must be far more developed than normal. That's not true. But it is! Bet you wish yours was, too! Well, I certainly do. Must be nice to have such a powerful mana lobe when you're channeling, huh? I guess. I really don't think about it. Well, you should, since the mana lobe is inside your brain. Wait, really? I hear that sometimes the spirits will help themselves to a nice chunk of brain along with the mana. So don't channel too much, or that pretty little skull of yours will end up as hollow as a coconut. Ah! I don't want that to happen! Come on, Alvin. Don't scare her like that. Any smoke shrooms! Yeah, they're a famous delicacy around here. Do they taste good? Better than you might think. I hear they're especially good in stew. Hey, I love stew! What if you steam them with garlic and butter? Would that be good? Sure sounds good to me. You could make cream of smoke shroom soup! What if they were wrapped in bacon? That would be amazing! Wow, Elise. I didn't realize you liked food so much. Oh! I... I just... She's having a growth spurt! Don't judge! Sherilton. Well, we finally made it. We sure took the scenic route. And the big bearded meanie didn't follow us, did he? Don't worry. He'd never follow us into a place like this. Hey, check out this shop. It looks pretty interesting. Welcome. Please, browse all you want. Looks like antiques. They're very nice. Why do all the folks around here seem so tense? 
<sighs> Word is, foreign spies broke into a military laboratory in the capital. The king sent his personal guards here. They're interrogating anyone who even looks at them funny. Not very good for business, that's for sure. Uh, right. Um... Wow, that cup is so pretty. Yeah, it's pretty all right. Pretty expensive, that's for sure. You have a good eye, young lady. That's a genuine Efreet-fired cup. Is that right? So this was handmade by Efreet? Uh. Huh. Well, I highly doubt that. It looks like these patterns are far too wild. Efreet values order over all else. <laughs> well, you talk as though you've had the honor of breaking bread with one of the four great spirits. Your observation is accurate. True Efreet-fired ceramics are known for their geometric precision. That's odd. The stamp here says that this set was made over 18 years ago. I see. Yes? Uh, what about it? That's quite peculiar. If I'm not mistaken, mankind lost the ability to summon Efreet around 20 years ago. <gasps> Disappointing. But even still, I think it's a lovely cup, so I'll take it. Uh, of course. I'll even be happy to offer you a nice discount. <laughs> I got quite a good deal, thanks to your help. I'm Drissel Cheryl. Pleased to meet you. And I am the young madam's butler, Rowan. I'm happy to be at your service. Thanks again. You simply must join me for tea at my manor. Well, who are we to turn down a free lunch? Shall we swing by later? I live just south of the Central Plaza. I look forward to seeing you. Do we really have time for that? Well, I can think of several reasons we might want to take advantage of her hospitality. He's right, actually. Staying at an inn could be risky with all these guards everywhere. Hmm. Very well, then. We'll take time for some tea after we traverse the town. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's right. The peddler who sells Tipo-esque toys might be in Sherilton. Let's ask around town and find out if anyone's seen any talking stuffed animals. Wow! I'm so excited! Hey, have you ever seen anyone who looks like me? Whoa, a talking doll. It's just like the other ones I saw. Where did you see them? A toy merchant was selling them here not too long ago. Where can we see this person? I don't think he's here anymore. He said he was going to some sea haven next. Do you remember which one? Hmm. Um. This is sure taking a lot of time. Oh, that's it. Can't say I recognize that. Oh wait, you mean Aladi Seahaven. Well, hey, nice work, me. Gosh, I'm so jealous. I wish my parents had bought me one of those. Tebow's not for sale. We've been waiting for you. Wow, you live here? Russia go soldiers. Wait.
Who was that? Have our guests departed? Welcome back. Brought your friends, I see. Klein! Let me introduce you. Oh, um, I never got their names. I hear you came to my sister's aid. I'm Klein Cheryl. I'm Drissel's older brother, as you've no doubt guessed. Lord Klein is the governor here in Sherylton. Really? How rude of us to keep you waiting outside. Please, let's continue our conversation in comfort. I see. So you protected my sister from wasting her money on worthless trinkets again. It's not worthless. Besides, I got a good deal and made some new friends in the bargain. Wahey! <laughs> Rowan, please look after our guests. It would be my pleasure, sir. I have some matters to attend to, if you will excuse me. I've got to run too. Huh? Nature calls. I better leave now before things get messy. So you're on some great journey, right? You simply must tell me all about your travels. Mm, well, um... I've never even been out of this town. I want to hear all about the faraway places you've been. I've never been outside either. But then... Oh. Ellie became pals with Jude and everyone. We crossed mighty oceans and explored forbidden forests. We saw giant waves and toadstools that made everyone cry. You actually sailed across the sea, Ellie? I've never even seen the sea before. What was it like? It's vast and wild, teeming with dangerous creatures. There are giant octopuses pretending to be rocks. Rock octopuses? You don't say! And fish and eels and clams. Oh, I've seen clams. Uh, the shells anyway. They sell shell jewelry in the shops in the plaza. It's all so gorgeous. That sounds really nice. I'll give you one of my favorite pieces as a present next time. As a token of our friendship. Icky clams turned into pretty jewelry? This I gotta see! So giving presents is a way to establish friendship? Uh, why yes. To the giver, a present is a symbol of trust. To the receiver, a present serves as a warm reminder of our friendship. And getting stuff for free doesn't stink either. I see. <laughs> it would appear my young mistress has made some very good friends. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to tea and treats. You can't take your eyes off these things. You that into antiques? No, not particularly. I'm simply fascinated by the illogical proclivity of humans to apply an abstract concept like beauty to everyday objects. That's, uh, pretty deep. I've also been thinking about our current predicament. There's something to be said for hiding in plain sight, but we should not tarry here for long. Yeah, we shouldn't overextend our stay. They've been so good to us already. Klein, why the unfriendly face? I'm afraid I can't permit you to leave just yet. Now that I know it was you who infiltrated the laboratory in Fenmont.
What are you talking about? Save your denials. Alvin told me everything. She did what? Now what? Will you hand us over to the military? No. I want to know what you saw in that facility. Rashigal has undergone dramatic changes ever since Noctigal exceeded the throne. Even those of us in the six ruling houses are not told of his activities. The military is holding people captive and draining their mana to develop a new weapon. Human experimentation? He would go that far? I'd like to believe you're lying, but all the pieces fit. So Nautical is the man behind the experiments? The King of Rashigal? He would have to be. <sighs> it's hardly hospitable to keep Drissel's friends captive in our home. But you must leave this city at once. Thank you, Lord Klein. There's a bunch of kids in Sheraton's Plaza. Looks like some of them are your age. Why not try to talk to them? He was so pink and cute. Super cute! I've never seen anything so pink before. Super never! What is it? I was just wondering. What the heck are they talking about? You don't have to be scared. They're just children. Go on and ask them. Um, excuse me. What's the cute pink thing you're talking about? You are spying on us. We have nothing to say to spies. Super nothing. Just give us a quick peek. Whoa, that weird thing talked. What is it? Like super weird. He's not weird. He's Tipo. Tipo? Well, whatever. I'm still not going to show the cute pink thing to someone like you. Fine. Ah, uh, phooey. But if you can show us that you love the color pink and prove you're a true pinkist, I may consider it. Prove I'm a pinkist? How? By bringing us super rare things that are pink. For example, start with the peach berry blossom. Bring us one of those, then we'll talk. <laughs> we'll super talk! Us? Alvin! You tattletale! You jerk! You... you tattle jerk! How much did Klein pay you to sell us out? Sell you out? Such an ugly phrase. Money isn't the only currency, you know. It's no secret that Lord Klein is unhappy with the current government. If we want info, we have to give some in return. It's called a trade. I told him what I know. And he gave you some juicy info in return, right? King Nautical of Rashigal is the man responsible for everything. So long as he remains alive, he could construct a second or third Lance of Kresnik. You're going to assassinate the king? What choice do I have? I can't allow him to continue, even if his death throws your country into chaos. I suppose it's the lesser of two evils. We can't let him keep sacrificing innocent people for their mana. Hey, you're the people from the Wanted poster! Whoops. I suppose strolling about wasn't the smartest idea. Hmm. Wind from the southwest. Two meters per second. A nice breeze. What are you doing here? Please, allow me to handle this. 
Hey, Gramps. Step out of the way before you break a hip. Oh, dear me. What a fearsome trio. A bit on the sloppy side, though. You two in the rear. Isn't your formation a little wide? If you stand so far apart, how will you help your comrades in a moment of crisis? Shut up! Like we need your tactical advice. And you, good sir, aren't you standing a little too far forward? From there, you might be able to catch me. But the good people behind me, on the other hand... Hmm. There's a good soldier. Yeah, what the... Now, if you'll excuse me. Everyone, please follow me. Rowan! That was awesome! You sure showed those meanies! Dear me. You misused the word awesome. It was merely a delay tactic. Whatever it was, you saved us, uh, Mr. Rowan. Just Rowan is fine. What do you need from us? My, get right to the point. Indeed, I have a favor to ask of you. Of us notorious criminals? This can't be good. The King of Rashigal came to the manor earlier and ordered our citizens be drafted into service. What? Noctigal was here? Yes. The man you saw leaving by carriage earlier was King Noctigal himself. So he's the King of Rashigal. Why is he forcing people into his service? Maybe he needs more experimental subjects? My master couldn't abide seeing his people in danger. He set off to rescue them. But Noctigal is not one who takes disobedience lightly. Is Drassel's brother in danger? Undoubtedly. And I wish to rescue him. Will you assist me? Any brother of a pal is a brother of mine! Right, Ellie? We can't turn a blind eye at this point. We should help. Here we go again. For an honor student, you sure are lousy at learning lessons. It's settled. We cannot allow Noctical to proceed with any plan that involves using that weapon. There's your answer. You have my thanks. The people were taken to Bermia Gorge. We must make haste. Klein's quite the fool, attempting to directly defy King Noctigal. I too counseled him against it. But as you can see, he can be quite stubborn. Hey! Stop saying mean things about Drissel's brother! Klein is a good man. He most certainly is. Never have I met a lord who cares more deeply for his subjects. Indeed, he was kind and gentle long before he was a lord at all. Two years ago, when I had nowhere else to go, he was gracious enough to hire me on as his butler. Sounds like he's really important to you. Very much so. And he's so cool. Way cooler than Alvin. I beg your pardon. I didn't quite catch that. I'm sure Klein is still safe. Of that, I have no doubt. No harm will befall him on my watch. You and Tipo are always together, aren't you? Because we're best friends! And because Tipo's so cute! Uh, really? What? Of course he's cute! Don't you think? Well, I, I he certainly isn't not cute. Uh, in a way that I can't quite put my finger on. How can you not know? It's Tipo! Oh, it's... it's his little horns. Those are super cute. Those are ears! For shame! You're terrible with kids! I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. 